Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? Oh, you getting it? Somebody's getting it for you. What's good, people? <laughs> Woo, what's good, people, today, today? Of another day we call Sunday. Anybody been said what's good, people? Oh. As you already know, I've been in hiatus. I haven't um, been really making videos and stuff like that because, you know, with the world we live in and stuff like that, there's so much that's going on that's very negative. And sometimes you have to take a time to take a step back. You know, we have the Sandra Bland thing that's going on. Queens. It is Wednesday, April 8th, 2015. Hopefully you are out there or were out there this morning doing something productive, successful, something that is going to help establish your kingdom and queendom. In the hot summer heat, mourners waited to fill DuPage AME Church. Those that knew Sandra Bland and loved her wanted to remember a woman described as full of spunk. She was a woman, her family says, that was a fighter of social justice and was committed to social causes like police brutality and racial issues. We celebrate that Sandy Bland was someone, a young lady, who refused to be subdued and silenced. Bland moved to Texas after getting a new job with her alma mater, helping with student outreach. She was arrested in Texas after a routine traffic stop and died days later in jail. An autopsy revealing she killed herself. Her family has since questioned the manner in which she died, not believing she took her own life. Documents released by the Waller County District Attorney last week showed Bland had a significant amount of marijuana in her system and that she admitted to a previous suicide attempt. Some that attended today's funeral didn't know Bland, but wanted to show their support to what they believe is an injustice. I believe that the, the officer was wrong with what he done, and um, I don't think that young lady took her life. And it's happening around. It's not just there, it's everywhere. It's not injustice going on. Senator Dick Durbin and Congressman Bill Foster attended the funeral and say Bland's traffic stop was highly questionable and want the U.S. attorney to launch an investigation. Friends say they won't give up the fight to find out what happened to cause the 28-year-old woman's death. I'm already involved. I'm going to get even more involved. It just makes me feel like, you know, somebody, this has got to stop. And I had to get video reference to that and so sad, so devastating to see that so many people feel that she committed suicide. You know it's sad that people feel as though it, it's out there and someone says it is true. You know, and here it is, she, died all, she has all that footage on YouTube in reference to, um, you know, not wanting to die. Obviously, she's gotten to a point in life where she was about being blessed and she was going to be blessed and she ended up dead and trying to say they killed, I mean, she killed herself. The, the good thing about that is that we have the media out now that kind of shows a better thing on what's actually going on in the world you know it, it's funny how the world seems to evolve around and it's showing the difference between what happens to cops and stuff now just imagine if we didn't have this don't the age that we are now with reference to cameras out there she would have just been another person that said nobody would have never known you know it's sad that we live in a world like this that we have to use the camera to save our own lives in some cases the tragedy is much more overwhelming than the victory. Anyway, that man said, I did a video reference to, you know, me going out to the picnic and stuff like that. And I was like, I hope no cops don't make it, you know, don't turn around and make me um, stop believing. And it seemed like it's been on and on and on. Anyway, that man said, so, you know, sometimes I take things a lot of too personal. You know, there was another person that was killed. Um, I was talking about this at India. You know, it's funny, like, I could give the message, but then they want to shoot the messenger. You know, look at your clothes, look what you have on this and this and that. And I was like, you know, it's funny, you, you can see all that, but you don't see the message that I'm trying to tell. You know, and then you want to call me names and stuff, listen. <laughs> the names that you call me, I've heard a thousand times before from people that I really gave, gave a damn about. Anyway, that being said, and I really could care less what anybody has to say about me. Most people like me, we done heard everything you about to say about us. Anything you could say about us is bad, we already heard it, and we don't even care. So, if you want to find out time, you know, you promote your hate, you want to leave this long dialogue, paragraph. Once I read the first line, it don't sound right, I'm deleting, block off my list, it's a waste of your time. 
and it's, it's just really wasting your energy because I really don't care what you have to say. You know, and that's the world we live in and stuff like that. Anyway, they're being said. I want to talk to reference to um, people that like to leave comments on my page, which I know you haven't seen about curfews, the Bibles, and all this kind of stuff like that. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a kind of person who grew up in church and stuff like that and understand God's work. You know, God makes no mistakes and everybody's here for a purpose and stuff like that. And people feel as though they need to put these Bible things, you know, my page telling them, you know, going to hell. And I'm writing to you, let you know, da 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 da. Now, I'm quite sure girls like me or people from the LGBT community has gotten this. You know, and I sit back and I pray to God and I talk to God all the time on a regular basis, more than probably, you know, people probably even know, you know, because that's the relationship between my God. It's not the relationship between, you know, you, you and your God with me. You know, when you think about it, that gets me is that, you know, I try to talk in reference to, you know, better understand it within me and myself and within you. So, you know, I went back to my, you know, I would say the Lord is my mother, my father, versus the ones who brought me here. You know, they have their beliefs and stuff like that. So, my thing is this, I'm not going to talk about my mother and father. I'm going to let you know um, the message that I kept getting from God. And I wasn't going to do this video because... It kept hanging on me, and I was like, I don't know, you know, I'm, you get to the point by being human, you get tired. Anyway, that being said, so I went to God and had a talk with God, and He says to me, and it's just me, you know, the people say, well, God don't talk to you, God don't like people like you, you know, you're going to burn your hell, and stuff like that. Well, quite frankly, things are quite different from what I heard, you know, and that's why I was telling people, keep your connection between God, between you. And I kept saying, you know, I don't understand why all this is what I'm doing wrong, it's, you know, it's me trying to help people like me and the answer, the question that the answer that I got back was you can just do what you need to do but you can do it powerful within unity meaning that oh my god the phone just knocked me on balance see that's what I'm saying the devil's that word you know because I knew you heard it ring right stuff like that um divide and conquer the message was divide and conquer. See, the thing about it is that in unity we cannot be conquered. But I think the, if, if the world, though this Bible says it divide and conquer, means that if I divide you all away from God, I can conquer you better. And the thing about it is that when I say divide and conquer, that means. If I let you believe that everything about you is bad, I'm dividing you away from God. Well, God don't love you. God don't care about you. You know, it's in this part of it. So they're dividing you away from God. Well, God don't love me, so I guess I just better self-medicate and just do anything because I'm unhappy now. As long as your unity with God is really close, they can't conquer you. So they have to try to find ways for you to move further away from God because now they're making you feel as though you're so bad, you're a wrong person. Now, these are the Bible people that's doing this and when they, when they try to do this thing remember it is not just online it's all over and the thing about it it comes on different avenues and stuff like that you know it comes not even online it comes in people form it comes in people that even surround you now divided away from God means I have you on drugs I have you sprung out I have you doing everything that you're just not supposed to do because you can't do with your truth because of what that person that person that came to you and told you now the person who said something that put into your head they're doing a lot of things, but they're not going to tell you that because they're supposed to get this message that they're so great within God and stuff like that. But they're not. So, as long as you keep your relationship with God really close, nobody can conquer you. And that's the thing about it. I kept myself so why is it, why is it? There's the goal. They have to pull you away from God. As long as your connection with God is really close, they can't get to you. So I just wanted to put that out there and stuff like that for the ones who, you know, when it, you hear all these people saying and stuff like that. Now, if I was, if I stood in front of you and I was looking just like the exact devil, you'd be like, oh no, you're the devil, I can't listen to you. But the devil comes in many forms and stuff like that. So just keep that in mind. If God loves you, if a person trying to think that gives you that gut in your stomach that promotes hate, it's not God's work. It's not God's work. You really need to have faith. You need to hold on to that. And you need to learn the power of ignore. And when people trying to do things to you to hurt you, the power of ignore works powerful. Remember, if you don't look at them, they don't exist. If you don't look at them, they don't exist. If you don't look at them, they don't exist. And the thing about it, I want you to keep saying that when you go out into the streets and you go out into the world of hate, um, bigotry, and they try to sit back and try to destroy you. If you don't look at them, they don't exist. You could be walking down the street. If you don't look at them, they don't exist. 
Keep that in mind. That's the message I want to give you. The power of the nor, and if you don't look at them, they don't exist. If they're trying to say things about God to pull you away from Him, they're trying to destroy you. Remember that. If you don't look at them, they don't exist. Anyway, that being said, I just want to make sure you got that message today on this Sunday. And I want you to stay strong. And I want you to believe that God, you are God's child. No matter what haysayers or hate mongers who try to put something in your mind that says God and it says everything of hate and reference to you. Talk about just trying to save your soul. Save your own soul. Because you're being judged as you go after someone else who has done nothing to you. Anyway, I just want to put that message out there and I just want to leave it there because divided we, divided we won't stand, united we will. Divided we won't stand, united we, we will. Anyway, that being said, you know, my mind has just been knocked off, and I know that's the devil's work. But I wanted to get this message out there. And I want to keep telling you, and I want to keep saying this to you every day. If you don't look at them, they don't exist. If you don't look at them, they don't exist. I practice the power of ignore. Because you don't look at them, they don't exist. Anyway, that being said, I want to say hello on the people. Boom. I want to say oh people bam. And I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I want you to do you. I want you to do best with it. You can't. And if nobody don't like it, then fuck them. Over it.